Hello everyone. So today I have come up with a very important as well as very new feature of Salesforce, which is called Workspace API in LWC. So most of you might be knowing that Workspace API is nothing but management of tabs that we can control the opening and closing of tabs as well as refreshing the tabs using our custom code in LWC. So as of now, this Workspace API was not supported in LWC, but only supported in Aura components. But recently Salesforce has come up with this feature beta. This is basically a beta feature as of now that Workspace API now can be used in LWC as well. So if you see my screen, I have implemented this LWC component where there are two buttons right now. I will make you go through the code line by line. And also we will do some additional buttons. I mean, additional uh, functionalities as well while we are on the video in this video, basically. So if I click on this open new tab, so behind the scene, what I have done is upon clicking off this button, a new tab will open up here, which will redirect me to a particular one account. So for now, I have just hard coded the ID of that account to which I want to open the tab for. Okay, but in the real scenario, we will definitely make it as a dynamic. Dynamically, we can uh, redirect redirect the value to. So if I click on this uh, very quickly, open new toy, new tab, it will open a new tab and it will take me there as well, where I see one account record got opened. This is this, this particular ID I have just provided in my code, hard coded for now. And this is one, one feature of Workspace API that we can open up a new tab and take the redirection to that tab. Then there is another feature called open sub tab. If I click on this, another tab will open up, but that one will open inside this main tab only. It will be a kind of sub tab basically. So let me, and it will take me to a contact record where again, I have provided the hard coded record ID of the contact. Let me click on this. So see, this tab got open, but it does not open as a new tab but inside the main tab only. So this was the basically the re main record, the primary tab inside which this contact got open up. So this is the power of this open sub tab. I mean the sub tab button here. So I will now go to my code very quickly and show you what all I have written to meet this requirement as well as we will include some more feature of this Workspace API. This is just two buttons I have shown, but there are multiple options that we can explore. Okay. And yeah, this is the code is very simple. It is very easy to understand. Let me go to the VS code. I have already changed the theme to the lighter mode so that you are able to quickly, I mean, you are able to view this very easily. We'll first see the HTML part of our code. So as you can see on the screen as well, there is one heading and two buttons. So in my code as well on the HTML part, I have one title of the screen, which is called Workspace API tab management. And then there are two lightning buttons inside that. This is just inside the HTML part. And these lightning buttons are nothing but one button is called open new tab upon clicking on which this method JavaScript method will fire, which is actually handling my opening of a new tab functionality and where it was taking me to account record. Okay. Then there was another tab called another button called open sub tab. And this is calling my another JavaScript method called handle sub tab, which will open up a new sub tab, taking me to the contact record. Okay. Now this is just the UI part. We'll go to the JavaScript part only uh, as well, because there the major part has been handled. So before jumping on to the respective methods of those buttons, I would like to first discuss about few of the very important information related to this Fox space API. And this was not previously there under, I mean, it was not supported in LWC previously. So first of all, what we have to do is you already know about this wire function and all we can import it from LWC. There is something additional here called lightning platform workspace API. This is a different module under which all those workspace API related methods can be imported from. So I will talk about few of the methods that I have already used and we will make use of others as well very quickly. And first of all, the method that is enclosing tab ID, this is nothing but this will give me the ID of that tab where I'm currently on. So suppose I am on this tab right now. So it will just return the ID of that. 
So this method has first been imported from this module and I have just used that method here in inside the wire property so that I already have the tab ID I mean assigned already which I can use later in my coding purpose I mean in my other functionality so uh, this will return me the ID of that tab where I am currently on let's go to the another function I will come back to this get focus tab info info this is another method inside this module which actually gives the information about the focus tab focus tab is like i am suppose there were multiple tabs open in this console uh, let me go to the demos here or let me open one more record and here so there are two tabs open so currently this is the focus tab because i am clicked on this tab only now you can ask what is the difference between enclosing tab id and the get focus tab information so the only difference is this enclosing tab id will give me the id of the tab only where i am on while this method get focus tab info will give me all the informations of the tab where i am currently on the informations like what is the title of that tab like this title of this tab is info demo what is the color of the tab what is the icon of that all these informations i can get using this method you know get focus tab info so this is the basic difference between enclosing tab id and get focus tab info i will make use of both of them and show you the real example of both of them okay then the now these these are the two main methods which we have used in our respective i mean custom buttons to be to handle the opening and opening of the tabs basically now let's move inside so this uh, this is how we have to first import all the respective methods inside this uh, module to be used in our code and i have actually prepared a note as well these are few or the other methods that can be imported and we can make use of them accordingly let's go back to our code so first of all i've used the very first method called enclosing tab id to just get the id of the tab where i am on currently okay now upon clicking of the open new tab button this javascript method will fire and inside this method i have simply used this open tab method of this workspace api module now this method expects few parameters if we just see the signature of this method this is nothing but number four here so this expects few parameters all of them are not mandatory while they are optional and what uh, accordingly whatever input or parameter you provide it will behave accordingly so this open tab method will expect either a record id the page reference or the url where the user needs to be redirected to whenever the new tab will open what will be the content of that tab so what i did in my code is the first parameter that i have provided is record id so i've just hard coded the account id you have seen get cloudy account was the record which get open so I've just hard coded the record ID to this parameter and it will take me to that record upon click of that button. Then there are few other parameters as well, which are not very mandatory, but yeah, they, they are very useful like focus. If I mark, make this as focus as true. So what happens is when I click on this open new tab button, the tab will open up and my control will also go there. So I will be focused now on this new tab that has been opened. I will make it as false and show you what happens if, if that focus is marked as false. Okay. Let's go back to the code. So this is the very simple code that has been written. Upon click of a button, this method fires and it will just uh, execute this open tab method where it will take me to this record ID and the focus is marked as true. Now the second method handle sub tab. So on the UI, we had one X, another method called another button called open sub tab upon click of which this will open up now you see this sub open sub tab the signature looks something like this so it will always have a parent tab id because it opens up under that primary tab only and then again it will expect some reference you are page reference record id or url and focus whether mark is as true or false okay so here I provided for this is the parent tab ID. This is nothing but the enclosing tab ID that I was there previously. If you see, if I have already talked about this enclosing tab ID is nothing but the ID of the tab where I am currently. So this is the main tab ID. 
inside that i will just open this contact record again hard coded and mark focus as true now let's do something interesting let's introduce one more button for closing of the tab i will just copy this entire piece of code and label this as close tab this should be like close tab handle close this should be the javascript method that i will quickly declare here as well so this method will fire up when the close tab button is clicked first of all i have to import that close tab method from the javascript from the lwc module workspace api and simply i can use this here let's see the signature of this method it should be a very simple one close tab it just expects the tab id the the tab that we want to close simple as that so what we will do is we can simply provide this dot tab id it should be like this this curly braces indicates that it should be a parameter inside that okay now i would also show how we can make use of this get focus tab info but before that we can just simply see what happens with this change let me for example for now let me mark this as false focus false for the open tab one and we'll see the change okay let me deploy this to my org let me go back to my org and refresh the screen and see if there is one more custom button available yeah there it is so if i simply click on this close tab it will close my tab that one has been closed this is another record if i click on this close tab this is also closed so isn't it very interesting that we can actually control the tabs open opening and closing and everything on our from our custom code only so now i have marked this open new tab as focus as false so it will open a new tab but my control will stay here only so now now you might have been able to identify the difference what this focus does it will the focus will remain here it will just open up a new tab now again let me show you close tab again yeah here so these this these are three very important uh, methods of this uh, particular platform workspace api that i have used but there are many similar to this like disable tab close refresh tab as well you can refresh the tab based on click of a button or any uh, or any event happens okay i wanted to show you the feature of this particular method as well get tab info so what will i do is simply i will just use this method this is nothing but this will give me the information of the currently focused tab so what am i doing is i have used this method get focus tab info it will get me the uh, information about the tab to which i am currently focused on and it will store the information here in this tab info variable now i can just use my close tab method here and whatever tab information that have been fetched using that method i will just use it tab id i hope this code is not very complex it is very simple first what i have did is i have used this method get focus tab info as i said it will get me the information of the currently focused tab all the information the tab id the color of the tab the title and everything and you see 
tab it will be stored here and under dot then function i'm just uh, storing this information here and just providing the tab id into that close tab method to just close the tab upon click of that button one more important thing is like uh, let me uh, there is something called label label parameter as well so you can provide the name of the tab according to your purpose so let me see account record let me name it as account record so on the first part when the new tab opens up that tab will have the label as account record currently if you see if i open this new tab then it will contain the name of that account itself you see let me quickly deploy that so i hope this was clear that how we can make use of this get focus tab info and how it is different from this tab id although we are getting all the same tab id tab id from both of them let's refresh this page so now if i click on this open new tab you see name of the tab the label of the tab now is changed to account record whatever we have given over here so this is also something that we can define for the new tabs isn't it very great here yeah. and if i just go back and show you the close tab function feature again this will close the tab again yeah so in closing tab id get focus tab id we have made use of both of them and it, it is per working perfectly fine so i hope this video was helpful thanks for watching i have actually in included that component inside the contact object as well that is why these buttons are showing over here as well yep. thank you